expensive looking scotch. That thing has been standing there forever. Don't mind if I do. It's the glasses sitting out Grandpa there. Grandpa in his Air Force uniform yeah. looks to be in his early 20s. So I'm guessing that, like, the, the scotch is just planes, part of his planes, shrine. And more planes. No, it's just no. been sitting there since 1981. I don't no, want to tell anybody how to No, my grandparents had, like, a liquor cabinet. table, basically. And I swear to God, like, the, the amount of dust the that settled yeah, on the, some of those the bottles. The decanter is so dusty. Yeah. Like, playing with moving parts. I don't want to tell anybody how to grieve, but if I do pass on, I really hope none of my loved ones erect a shrine in a corner of a room. Okay, but what about like a what about like a Helga Pataki closet shrine to you? Would that pass most? <laughs> wow, that was a deep cut, Camster. <laughs> I'm just old. God damn it, that's the problem. That is not a deep cut. I'm just old. <laughs> I don't think it is, though. Oh, I don't know. I think it might be. Okay, in the comments, say if you know what that cut was, and then we'll decide if it's a deep cut or not. And then put your age. Hi. Hello. <laughs> this guy's sprite's hilarious. Do I have to commit a crime <laughs> to romance anyone in this because game? Because I seriously will. Ma'am, um, this guy will proposition oh, us for a date in a few you. minutes, and I'm the answer is sure no, no, and no. Yes, I do. You're Kathy. Aww. Kathy Rain. I mean, that's My fair. Reputation this guy is me in a kind of, but not. Totally He's probably never even. Way. I mean, he is a cop. Oh, come on, it's me, Lenny. Lenny Marks. <laughs> do we admit the truth? <laughs> Stone that we cold. Who he is? Or Stone cold. Or... <laughs> All right. I'm drawing a blank. Really? You don't remember us playing when we were little kids? Not really. Sorry, Sorry buddy. But... Darn. Well, that's a bummer. Anyway, what can I do for you today? My husband told me that a microaggression for men is if you call him bud. <laughs> I wanted to ask if you know anything about I prefer about kiddo. I've, I've I've heard Sport. that. I've never I don't understand that. The sheriff You don't feel like if someone was like, "Hey, bud," you wouldn't feel microaggressioned at all? I mean, I guess if you said is said it that way, okay. but I mean I that would be the same if it were any other word. Sure thing. His office is to your right. Like, hey, bud, what's up? Hey, buddy, how you doing, you know, bud? I mean, no. Well, gotta go. Hmm. Good luck. I'm just saying it works real well in online arguments. And bud, sport, kiddo, oh, anything yeah. like that. Uh, oh yeah. Maybe later. Thanks. Sure thing. Like I mean, it's, it's great for like more annoying to me. Well, it's it's great for bypassing. Like you don't want to swear at someone because you don't want your account banned, but you do want to aggravate someone. It's it's like the like not southern version of bless your heart. These reports, they all look fairly recent though. Nothing older than 1990. Hey sheriff, I'm the thinking deal about it hard. I, yeah, the only like creature that I call Bud is like specifically one of my dogs when he's stressing out about nothing. It's like kind of, it's it's the word I use when I'm trying to make myself like frustrated in a supportive and helpful way and not frustrated in an additionally aggravating way. Oh, you know, which, I've yeah. 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 Like, I've seen a Look, parent's call their what do you kids want? bud. Like, hey, buddy, you sure you want to do that? That's all. Fine. I really love how this guy's just like skating around on his, his, his yeah it's chair. amazing <laughs> he doesn't even get up to get coffee he just goes over to the window i actually legitimately appreciate that he's not even using his foot to kick himself off it's just like <laughs> just like a professor xavier hover chair always has to be filed i see did you know him at all no i haven't been in town for long Man sure has one hell of a rep. It's like he was a cult leader or what something. Heck? I didn't touch anything. Sounds like a conspiracy theory to me. Could be, but you know what they say. Things to your motivation shouldn't be. Low. Yeah, you're not uh, skipping you on purpose. It's just happening? skipping itself. No, it's just. If you say so, boss. I noticed this earlier, and I thought I'd accidentally clicked something, but maybe not. That was weird. Can we get that again? Do you know what happened? He had a stroke in the woods. That's what happened. If that's all there is, why would Sheriff Truman open an investigation? It was just standard procedure. A general occurrence report always has to be filed. I see. Twin Peaks. You know That's where I no, Sheriff Truman is from. Long. Man sure has one hell of a reputation, though. It's been over a decade since he was put in that wheelchair, and people still talk about the man he used to be. It's like he was a cult leader or something. 
Sounds like a conspiracy theory to me. Oh yeah, what a Could hunk. be, but you know what they say. <laughs> Things too good to be true usually are. Could I have a look at that report? Absolutely not. They're official police documents. Why not? I thought filed police reports are public record. Not in this state, they ain't. Our filed police reports public record in 1995 in Colorado. <laughs> I have no fucking idea. But I'm family. Doesn't that I'm, count like, for something? The thought of even looking at it you makes me tired right family. now. <laughs> I thought if anything is town. an open investigation, it's you can't complicated. look at police reports. Guess what's complicated? Well, this no, was from like illegal. 14 years ago. How can it be an active it? investigation still? If it, all it takes is the police saying uh, that it is. Yeah, so like if someone true. goes I missing know. in the 70s and the police are like, we still haven't found her, then it's technically an open investigation. Are you trying to use flirtation on an officer of the law? Well, that shit may work on numbnuts like Lenny, but I got work to do. This is a mild pet Lenny, peeve, but I do sometimes dislike it when an adventure game presents a puzzle where, like, there's an well, obstacle, uh, uh, like, a well, progress shit, blocker, and you've got, like, really. three different ways of talking so. your way through it. And, like, either one of them works or none of them works. That? There are rules. Am I the only one in here who cares about the law? Too much coffee? Try not to pop a vein. Yep, none of them worked. Um, how do I get up? That's a great question. I'm stuck. Use feet on floor. Uh, <laughs> hey. Do you want to see the inside of a oh. cell? Let's look inside. Oh, cuff me, officer. Spare me the you torments of your just, rhetorical Oh, uh, do you just, like, need to solve press. the puzzle of how to get the, the documents you need or something? No. Oh. Uh, for for whatever reason, we were stuck until I guess I like interacted with something somehow, despite the fact that I didn't move over Tons to it. Of miscellaneous files. And I then that kicked anything. us back out. So oh, yeah. I have to say that of this is apparently the efforts of a single developer, and that is really impressive. Hey, Lenny. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, obviously, Hello, Kathy. the voice up? acting isn't all him, but aside from that. Hey. I need to see That'd the police great, report though. from 81 when my grandfather was found by the old sheriff. Hmm. I'm low-key working on a freaking adventure, and, and here. I don't think it's so going to have voice acting in it, but if it does, if it was I'm going to have to Mumble. fight very hard to resist the temptation. Mumbo! Come on! and Chris acting every oh, character. Fine. At least one! Well, gotta go. And it doesn't have to be see a you. big one, Red Scar. Just like a dumb Not little... Fern? Hmm. Lenny mentioned that There'd just be like a neighbor that bangs on the wall and yells at you. <laughs> hey, that's a restricted area. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay, so I think we need to... Just your standard coffee maker. What should I do with it? Uh, Put the coffee in the plant. Have, has everyone here seen Twin Peaks? Yep, until I the I, new I season. I have seen the All first right. season. Let's see how this plays out. But I haven't gotten around to seeing the second season yet. I mean, I'm I'm aware of it in the sense that I know how it ends and I know a lot about it. I've never actually watched it. Lenny, oh, so you have approximate knowledge. Of goddamn coffee. That's good enough. Yes. <laughs> Ten four, coming do, right up. Do you think it would be okay oh, to show be. somewhat like Nick has never watched it before, and I'm wondering if, do you think it holds up? Yes, if you go in expecting what it is and not what you might expect it to be from cultural yeah. osmosis. Yeah. Like, just say it's a soap opera, and there's a interesting mist like surreal mystery angle hey. to it, and I think that that gets the idea across pretty well. Okay. Thanks. That was getting annoying. I remember like watching that with a friend of mine uh, when we were living together, and it's just like it was great because like every time two characters were revealed to be hooking up, like he would get more and more annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> like every time a new affair is revealed, and I was just loving it. And then he's like, just like, "What are we gonna solve this mystery?" <laughs> he's like, "The only two characters who aren't hooking up are like insert two characters." And then, like in the next scene, basically they like steal a secret kiss for the first time. <laughs> and he's just like fucking flipping the table. 
<laughs> then he's like, God damn it. And then he just looked at me and he said, listen, what time is it? I'm like, 8.30. He's like, we gotta go get donuts. <laughs> we gotta go get donuts. <laughs> yes. So he was encountered on the side of the dirt road a few miles from Conwell Springs, blindly walking forward with his eyes open. The subject was identified as Joseph Rain. He did not respond when touched or spoken to. He appeared to be dirty from head to toe and wet up to his knees. Mr. Rain was fiercely clutching a small tape recorder complete with tape. Being cooperative, he could be led into the squad car and transported back into town. He picked up Mrs. Rain and brought her along with Mr. Rain to the emergency room at the community clinic. Upon routine investigation of the patrol car, a tape recorder was found discarded on the back seat, filed as evidence in locker number five. Hmm, I'm gonna have to get my hands on that recorder. This is like, um, no you ever seen, this. uh, I'm Charlie Brown and the Great Pumpkin? Yeah. Do you remember Nothing when Snoopy, right like, really but super thought that he was fighting the Red Baron? Like, really thought so. This is pretty much it. Heavy tools. This is exactly what happened to Snoopy. Brilliant idea to leave those lying around next to evidence So you're saying that cells. Kathy Rain's grandfather was Snoopy? No, I'm saying that he thought he was fighting the Red Baron. And he was reenacting it hey. on the hey. field. It's interesting you say all this, because I'm pretty sure the Great so, Pumpkin is up there on the shelf. Cell. Next to the tea well, kettle. Uh, See, I'm telling you. <laughs> I've already is solved so? it. Yeah, I, I didn't mean to steal anything. I was just using my pockets to move the beer to the checkout. That's the worst excuse I have ever That's heard. That's pretty legit, like, excuse, actually. Like, if someone doesn't walk out with it, take my last it's just, like, in their this pockets. This excuse is even worse. Like, I hey, put stuff in my pockets when I'm carrying it to the right? register, especially since, like, yeah, during COVID, sure. there haven't been baskets I'm around. Mine wasn't either. Really? It was just a but that doesn't mean yeah, it was any sometimes. less traumatic, mind you. To this I, day, I'm too afraid. Well, well, when I was a kid, um, I think I've heard enough, buddy. a item right. at a store like got in my bag, back. and it didn't get like rung up or you anything. The blonde cop out so when I came fun. home, my parents thought I stole I it. Ten and so ever since do. then, I'm like really, like very careful about what I have on me, and I always make sure that like Nine. I know what I'm paying 15. for. If that makes sense. Eight. Because it was oh, a sure. very traumatic Ten. time. Seven. And to be clear, this is not like a statement. If Ten. you do this, you'll not so, get uh, like in trouble, in? or right. potentially arrested. <laughs> or like, no, like it's bad it's advice. Like my parents literally like, thought I okay, stole. Then. Like I got grounded, and I couldn't convince them that it was just an accident. Okay, gotta go. See ya. Yeah, and I think of like a loss prevention person sees you put something in your pocket in a Walmart yeah. or whatever, they will be following you around and try to stop you. They'll try to stop you from the leaving. They might not you like stop in. you from trying to check oh, out. Sorry. I just heard someone yelling. It depends. Uh, I worked I at a cosmetic store a and now. I didn't do it, but I had a coworker oh, that now? would like walk at the floor and look for anyone who looked like they were pocketing stuff. Okay, I have to make this quick. Yeah, I'm just I'm going off of also like my I'm not telling you. training from like one store from like <laughs> ten years <laughs> ago. <laughs> I'm not telling you that you're wrong, but it's just Got that it. I feel like you're playing a very dangerous game, that's all. Oh absolutely, yes. No, the thing <laughs> is, like, one of these days someone is gonna hit me with a baton, and I don't know who it is, so I'm kind of just like playing the numbers here. It's Mumbolo if you don't let me do some voice acting in your new text adventure. I, like, okay, literally, at some point you'll do something loud, and then there'll be like a banging on the wall, and like a voice will yell at you. Take care of it, boss. No, okay. It'll be the only voice acting in the entire game. <laughs> exactly. The entire game is not voice acted except for one character that's just mumbles. Oh my god, in the credits you gotta like have special sparkles, like voice acting, it just has mumbles. <laughs> I'm every other I'm every single other name in the fucking credits. I've got a I really need to break this shitty habit I have of doing everything on every project okay, I'm part go. of now. See ya. <laughs> like fucking denial molasses. It's like Game designed by Rootsguard, like things. typesetting and layout, Rootsguard. Like right head of play testing, <laughs> Rootsguard, art by Rootsguard. <laughs> Published by Ritzgar. Voice acting. Mumbles. Voice acted. Deniable assets of the RPG is voice acted by Mumbles. Alright, got it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a... 
It's a hexadecimal uh, readout, like text file version of a wave file. It's just mumbles saying something. You know what I should do is, is there a website that has like um, free assets for game makers? I don't, I don't know a bunch of free asset websites I use. Oh I don't know about that. specifically. I don't know. I don't actually haven't used any of it specifically for game makers before. I should like make audio files of like hey, uh, me being Kathy, like, wait. ooh, something shiny, what? and like make make Do voice packets like, for people. I, I mean, for, so then one I mean, day not. I could be playing I've the game and it's my voice and I wouldn't even know it. You could also put it up on the <laughs> Unity Asset Store and just have like female voice pack and then see if someone buys. Can I buy Holy fuck! Sometime? I'm gonna do this. And this also amazing. buy food for me, and and then maybe. I think that there should be like some kind of fun game, game jam, which is based around like it's like Iron Chef style, where we're like, so we we got this woman uh, to yell into a microphone, not on my <laughs> new shoes, and we got a 3D model <laughs> of a parakeet that looks like it has gas. You need to make a game out of it. Good luck. Oh my god. <laughs> So here's our, uh, he just awkwardly asked us out. No, God, no, absolutely not. Actually, I'd rather eat a foot. Just, like, just what no. type of Go foot? To... Well, he started out with, do you eat foot? I mean, food was his initial Aww. line. So. No, just give him a nice no. He, he He's nervous. I'm really busy He's right never now. kissed a girl. Maybe later. Oh, okay. See, ya. <laughs> See, I actually have a problem, because that wasn't no. That was maybe later. Yeah, that was not... What's I, I, I feel like a no is the right answer there. That's what I call a Bioware response, where you clearly pick yes. one thing from a wheel and then Hawk says something fucking different. <laughs> Hawk's a maverick. Let's... Hawk does what she wants at all times. Note to self. Remember the perfect bouquet consists of three red roses. A blue oh, that's... Okay, if I ever find a tape like this and I play it, I will. That's when I'll know I'm in an adventure game. I just don't want her to worry. She has enough to think about. My whole life, I've wanted to find a tape like this. You know. Anyway, I'm getting close to finding the source. Just record a bunch of random weird tapes that don't mean anything and just leave them around town. I wish someone would. Like I, I, I wanted to include a haunted tape, like a haunted tape as part of like a, a game I ran for uh, my last Halloween party, and it was literally easier to make oh, a fake hello, tape dear. recording, like, complete with sound effects, and put it on YouTube, and include a QR code that linked to my YouTube hey, video, Grandma, complete with, like, a graphic in it, oh, and yes, the audio, yes, than it was to just, like, find an actual Just tape recorder and make an actual tape. Everywhere. He you don't go to enough pawn shops. It helped him remember things. I like that this has been sitting in a police evidence locker for the past 14 years and the batteries are still like not only charged but not corroded into nothing. Wow. Would you mind if I took a look in the attic? I suppose it would do no harm. Come with me. Thanks, Grandma. You're welcome, dear. Be careful now. Okay, so where's the color puzzle we gotta solve? Yes. Nothing. The bulb must be burned. First, out. we have to solve the puzzle if we can't fucking see shit. The bulb looks burned out. I'll have to replace it. Are you just carrying bulb any bulbs, bulbs in your like kangaroo pouch? No. Let's let's <laughs> stick the stun gun into the socket and see what happens. No, I think we just steal one from the table lamp. That's very funny. <laughs> Score. <laughs> this doesn't feel like a puzzle so much as something you do when you're lazy in somebody else's house and you need a light bulb. <laughs> you like raid their fucking lamp for a new one. Looks burned out. I'll have to replace it. Use light bulb on light bulb. There we go. Aha. Metal An detector. electronic metal detector. Kind of clunky for It'd be really funny if, like, the actual problem here is that you pick up, like, a dozen different yeah, things, like the metal detector, supplies. a bunch of We're books that look interesting, a staple gun. It's like, then you slowly realize that you can't leave with all I'm this stuff, but you also can't let any of it go because it might be useful later. That's when you realize that addicts are where adventure game protagonists come to die. I don't need anything. I just need my chair 
and my thermos. I just need my chair and my thermos and my favorite mug. Nothing interesting. That's from The Jerk An by Steve Martin. Covered in cobwebs. Are you Empty. aiming to be an audiobook reader now? No, that's literally that's a, a movie, movie Empty. that he was oh, in. And at the end okay. of the movie, he it got very... Like was doing all of his yeah. assets were taken. Much sense of it. But he said, I will keep one of them. Or maybe another one. Or maybe a third one. So the jerk came out in 1979, and I just want to point out that you said that Hey Arnold was a deep cut. Uh, there is no universe where Steve Martin is a deep cut. Everybody knows Steve Martin. I, I don't know that that's true anymore. I think I think yellow, what? blue, and red. I like how we're having this conversation, Campster, and Russ Carr's just in the background, being like, "Here's the answer to the puzzle." Yeah, it's like you, you take the number of like flowers and use that to get the digit, uh, the relevant digit in each okay. sequence from the red, the blue, and the yellow bookmarks. And that's how you get the answer so to the puzzle. So it was three red roses. So is that this or this? That five is the five. third prime. Yeah. Five. Oh, third prime. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. And then uh, two, uh, no, one blue uh, violet. So that's one. Uh, and then two yellow tulips, so also one, three one one, no, five one one. It would be, but there's room for more digits. Yeah. Oh, five, maybe, it's, oh, maybe it's three digits, the first three, uh, the first two and the first one. Ah. Uh, yeah, okay. Two, All right. Three, five, three, one, one. That's not it. Incorrect. Did we we had it. Numbers wrong. This game's busted. <laughs> Apply for a refund quickly. Play. Not now. Play the damn. What do I have to not be in the screen to play the dictaphone? Oh, I have to rewind it. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Damn it, analog. That's so good. <laughs> 